so this video is just going to be a look back at my 2016 and possibly just some things I want to do next year. I hope you guys enjoy it. 2016 went so fast. I don't know if anybody else felt that or if it was just me, but I feel like this year went so fast. I feel like I was just in Florida, Orlando, and Naples um, visiting family in January, right after my birthday. I turned 26 this year, which to me, when I was in high school, I just thought that was so old, you know? When in reality, it's not that old. But I feel like I've done a lot of growing up this year. Uh, I've started doing a lot of things that I've been wanting to do for years and finally just decided just to do them. You know, it might not be the greatest, but I did it, you know? And I think that's what we just have to remember is just going out there and doing what we want to do and not caring what other people think um, and not just saying, well, you know, I don't have all the things I need to do to do it, but just doing it, you know, doing what you love and doing what you've wanted to do for so long. It's so awesome and it made me feel so good this year. We had a lot of opportunities this year because we originally planned that we were gonna get pregnant at the end of this year and then kind of halfway through the year decided that we didn't want to do that. So we had actually planned a lot of really fun stuff to do before we started having kids. January I went to um, Orlando, um, or just outside of Orlando and Cocoa Beach to see my mom. We went to Orlando. I took my mother-in-law and we all went and it was a blast. It was my second time and I have a friend who works there so we got free tickets and it was just a lot of fun and I got to show um, my family, you know, my love for Harry Potter even more. So that was a lot of fun. And then we went to Naples which is the most southern part of Florida I've ever been to and I had never been anywhere warm in January, okay? I have to tell you, it's a shock. Um, being from Kansas, so we left that morning and it was negative 7 degrees, so it was probably about negative 10 with the wind chill and when we got to Florida it was about 65 degrees and it was so warm in comparison. Everybody was wearing like coats and it was so funny. I was in like a t-shirt and uh, it was just hilarious to watch everybody um, be super cold when we were super warm. So we spent a few days in Orlando and with my mom and then we went down to Naples which is where my husband's grandma and aunt live and uh, we went on a you know, on a nature tour, a uh, boat tour, and um, it was really cool. We got to see a lot of birds and uh, wildlife, and then we got to go to a little island that's a little preserve, and we got to walk around, pick up shells, and um, you know, driftwood, and I actually have that in a big glass vase in my bathroom, which is really, really cool. So February, March, and April, I was getting ready for Comic-Con. I worked with this awesome seamstress who did a lot of work with me for my cosplay outfit that I wore to Comic-Con this year. Um, it was kind of a year in the making of planning and finding pictures and making sure everything was perfect, ordering all the right things, doing a lot of research. Um, this was my baby, you know, this was going to be my last year of cosplay before we had kids, so I really wanted to go all out. Um, and I spent a lot of money and I did. It was worth it though. I mean, it was so cool to see all the reactions of like friends of mine and like I met a lot of new people and it was just so cool. I got to meet Tom Felton at Planet Comic Con and he loved my outfit so it was probably one of the best cosplays for Quidditch he had ever seen. It was just a lot of fun. I actually met a lot of new friends. I met um, friends in this like big Harry Potter Facebook group here in Kansas City and we actually met up again in August at KC Comic Con and um, want to get together to do more cosplay and photography and it was just a lot of fun meeting a lot of people who are in the same kind of mind as I am. So July was a big deal for me. Um, not a lot happened except for one big thing and that was my first YouTube video and I know that seems like something very small and trivial especially to the YouTube community but I've been wanting to make videos for years, for years, like ever since I was living on my own before my husband and I got married and we've been together for five years. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know, you know, I was thinking I needed all this like huge video production stuff and like, you know, you see the YouTubers now, it's ridiculous what they do. I mean, they, they like spend hours and hours like editing and like I work a full time job. It was so hard for me to just take the time and just sit down and just do it. You know, I thought I couldn't, I couldn't like, you know, 
film this on my crappy ca camera, you know, or like on a laptop or anything, which I know a lot of YouTubers started out doing, but I didn't know that, you know, I thought like, I have to, if I'm gonna do this, I have to do it right. And instead of just doing it, I put it off for a lot of years and I kind of regretted that. Um, I just wanna thank you guys for your support in the last, you know, six months, um, helping me, you know, have the courage to do this and just the motivation, I guess. So in September, my husband and I flew to Orlando again um, to my mom's house in Cocoa Beach. My brother got married, finally, um, after so long. Uh, and I did the photography for that, as well as the bride's makeup and hair. And that was a lot of fun. We were only there for about three days. Um, we had the wedding one day, we went to, back to Orlando to go to Universal and I wore my whole cosplay outfit and did photos in the park and it was so much fun, um, which I'll be posting a video of that. I know it's been, I've been really bad <laughs> lately about trying to edit because we had two trips right back to back to each other, so I had a lot of, you know, uh, film and I have a lot of editing to do and so I <laughs> put it off. But I will be posting that um, early this year. It is on my planned out list to do and you guys will be able to get to see me um, in Universal while I was taking photos and it was a lot of fun. And then we flew back. Two weeks after we flew back, we actually went to Mexico in October, the first week of October. We've been planning this trip with my dad and my stepmom for about five years, about the time we got married. And it was so much fun. We've been talking for years like, oh, you know, 2016, October 2016, October 2016. And it finally was here at the beginning of this last year. And we were like, oh my gosh, it's this year. We can actually say like this year now instead of 2016. So it was a blast. I'd actually never been out of the country before. I got my passport for the first time. And uh, it was a blast. Uh, the resort we stayed at that my parents uh, have a timeshare at. Uh, was amazing. It was like a five-star resort. I'd never been in anything so luxurious and it was great Our room was right off the beach. It was just such a cool um, Experience and I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we went. It was such a fun like family trip uh, My dad and stepmom actually renewed their vows on the beach. It was their 20-year anniversary this year So I'll um, post some pictures while I'm talking so you can see them on the beach It was so beautiful and it was perfect. It was such a short little ceremony, but it was just so great and it was so great being a part of that and I love you guys for that. But Devin and I actually went on an excursion one day. My parents been going for years and years so they just didn't, you know, they just wanted to sit on the beach and do nothing. Um, but we actually wanted to go out and do an excursion so we went out to this, I mean I would have to basically call it like a theme park. It was called Excret and it um, was a big park. It was, I would have to say the way I was describing it to people, it was like half zoo half water park. It was the most interesting thing I'd ever been to. Now this company owned a lot of different like excursions you could go do, like the pyramids and stuff, but we wanted something um, where we could go do the water caves. I had, I had been seeing this all over the internet when I kept like, you know, searching Cancun, Cancun, and this was the one I wanted to go do. Um, you get on a little, um, you know, you get your little flippers on and you're, and you like, swim through water caves and it was like the coolest thing to me um, that you could just swim through caves. I mean, how cool was that? So um, we got a lot of video while we were doing that. Uh, we got to eat some really good authentic uh, Mexican food while we were there. We got to go into this really old chapel that was absolutely gorgeous and actually ended up down into a cave at the very end. It was just so awesome to experience that and we were absolutely exhausted um, but it was so worth it it was such a blast and I loved it and I got some beautiful photos beautiful video and it was just such an experience that I won't forget ever so November a lot of people think of Thanksgiving and that's all fun and all um, but I'll have to rant on that another time it was fun hanging out with family and friends but actually the biggest thing I was most excited about in November was Fantastic Beasts and where to find them um, you guys all know I'm a super big Harry Potter nerd and I know a lot of you are that watch me. Um, but it was just so cool to actually like finally see it. You know, we've been talking about it for years. JK has been releasing so much information but not releasing so much information. So it was kind of cool just to go and finally see it. Uh, we did a big meetup with our big Harry Potter group at uh, Alamo Draft House in downtown Kansas City. 
and I met a lot of new friends and we got to cosplay together and it was just such a really fun night. We had like a 20s band and it was so much fun to see you guys and hang out with everybody and to watch the movie with a bunch of new friends and then um, to then read the book the next day when I got it in the mail <laughs> um, or the screenplay. So it was really cool. It was a whole new set of characters to just fall in love with and now it's a whole brand new story for a whole new generation to grow up with and to um, fall in love with and maybe you know learn about the Harry Potter universe so it was just so cool and we had a blast and um, I'm excited for the next one um, when it comes out finally December was just you know spending time with family having days off like today and just um, you know getting things ready for the next year I think I'm just enjoying closing up this year remembering everything that happened and just um, looking forward to 2017 and all the things that we want to do. Um, speaking of that, you know, just some of the stuff we've been wanting to do uh, next year, we're talking about redoing our house, you know, just a big remodel. We've also talked about, um, you know, this being the year of travel. We want to do a lot of travel this year. Um, especially if we decide to get pregnant at the end of the year or next year. We want to spend this year traveling. I feel like I haven't done enough traveling in my life and it's something that we've talked about doing. So we have a lot of options on the table. We have friends who live in Colorado and I've actually never been anywhere west of Kansas. All my family lives down south and in the east. So it will be a lot of fun to go take pictures in the mountains and camp and, and hang out with our friends. Um, we've also talked about going to Washington State. Uh, my husband's aunt lives there on Bainbridge and um, you know, they, there's just so much beautiful wildlife and photo opportunities up there and just so much art and it, it's cool. I really, I've always wanted to go to Washington and if it wasn't so cold, I would probably live there. <laughs> and I've never even been there. I'm sorry, I don't know what my dog is barking at. Probably other dogs or neighbors. So, um, the big thing we want to do next year um, is travel on a big trip. So we have a couple of options. We've talked about one, going on a huge road trip around the U.S. Like, we have family all over the U.S. so we could stay with them and then visit places we've never been before um, and just take photos. We want to just go and take a million photos and like I said I would love to like blog the whole thing or maybe vlog um, and just, you know, put our experience up and just enjoy being with each other before we, you know, start having kids just being by ourselves. We haven't taken a trip like by ourselves since our honeymoon like a big trip especially. So we really just want to enjoy the time together and um, make some new experiences. Or the other option is going to Europe. Um, I've had a lot of friends who have kids that said we need to go to Europe before we, you know, have kids because it's going to be a bajillion times harder when we actually do. Um, so I think it'll be a lot of fun to do that. But again, it'll just depend. Um, we do have a lot of friends and family in Europe as well, so we'd have a lot of places to stay. And then I feel like getting around Europe would be a lot easier on, you know, the trains and stuff. So we'll see. I I would love to do either. I kind of wish we could do both, and if we can, that would be amazing. I mean, that's I I could talk for hours about this. It was such a great year, and I'm so glad I've made a ton of new friends and have you know spent time with my family. And I'm so looking forward to 2017 because I feel like it's going to be an amazing year and I'm going to do so much and meet so many new people and have so many cool new experiences. So um, I can't wait for that and I'm so excited for 2017, you guys. So I hope you guys all have a great New Year's and um, spend time with your families, enjoy your days off work, and um, I'll see you in 2017, guys. Have a great night, okay?